Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for the Gizwiz is brought to you by Cashfly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. It's time for the Gizwiz with Mads Maddest writer Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1438, recorded October 15th, 2013. Turkish Delight. The Gizwiz is brought to you by Ting.com. Ting is a mobile phone service that makes sense. You'll save money with Ting by paying just for what you use, and it doesn't require a contract. Plus, you get unlimited devices on one pooled plan. To save $25 on your first Ting device, visit gizwiz.ting.com. And by lynda.com. Learn what you want, when you want, with access to over 2,000 high-quality online courses and training videos, all for one low monthly price. To try it free for seven days, visit lynda.com slash gizwiz. That's L-Y-N-D-A dot com slash gizwiz. And now, get ready for Dick! Ladies and gentlemen, a good afternoon to you and welcome once again to another fine edition of The Gizwiz. It's the same dumb show with Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Oh, Rosen, 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 Leo, how are you? I am Pat? very, very well. You see the FedEx guy is here. That's exciting. I see that, but I see even better is you have a dolly next to you. You know what's better than FedEx? Box on it. DHL, baby. Oh, DHL. Uh, they Whoa. only. Uh, uh, <laughs> Whoa. Stuff, right? It's going uh, the wrong way. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, I'm sorry. This is LHD. Oh, In any yeah. event, it's from overseas. It's a, a special delivery. Yeah, because that's all DHL does now. Is it really? They don't do I anything in the U.S. Give, no, I think they've given up. They domestic. specialize though in overseas. In overseas, yeah. 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 Whoa. Neat. I hope what I bought is in there. <laughs> <laughs> There's really no way I'm going back to Turkey to trade it in. So. Oh, you. Oh, so you bought it in person? I was there on your trip, and I said, "Ship it." Now that could be one of two things we bought there. Right. Uh, your dirty underwear and clothes that you didn't want to yeah, put in. I ship stuff back. <laughs> hey, Dick, how are you? Good to see you. I'm good. I'm good. Thank how you. was the, uh, did you have your event this weekend? Oh, uh, no, it's next weekend. Oh, it's not over yet. I still have a chance. No, it's, uh, this coming Sunday. Last Wednesday, though, was the TCM thing. That was great. Yes, I saw you with Robert Osborne. Thank you. I you couldn't think? decide who was more dashing. I could tell who was taller, <laughs> however. Yes. That was, <laughs> that was apparent. Like is tall. he like eight feet tall, or are you just well, a little small? Yeah, well, I'm five foot eight, but he must be like six foot three or four. He's a big man. You were staring at his clavicle, I noticed. A big man. Yeah, and I was just sitting down. Yeah. <laughs> was it fun? Well, wait a minute. You did this months ago. We knew you did it. Yeah. No, but was, no this was, is surprising, because you mentioned this on the Giz Fizz on Saturday. They don't let you see it ahead of time. That is correct. Um, you know, and it was very funny because I said, Dennis, the last thing I heard was, uh, this will be great once we edit it. And I thought, and I said to Dennis, watch, we're going to tune in and Robert Oswald is going to say, and now here's Mads, Mads, it's right at Dick D. Bartolo. Dick, you specialize in satires. What's your favorite? I would say, Robert, I love this is Spinal Tap. And then Robert would say, okay, let's see that movie. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, they, they let me talk for like three or four minutes oh, before every movie and like three minutes after it. And we, it, we've got the gadgets. We got the twit.tv. Oh, did you? You gave us a little yeah. plug oh thank it, you he mentioned it uh opening and then at the end he said tell me about your love of gadgets and oh that's I went great into, yeah so it was great did you get any bill gaines anecdotes or anything like that in uh no i just got in my my thing about how i started it mad oh that's uh, a great you story know, with the cardboard thing yeah that's a great story it, yeah and, and the funny thing was that the guy who sent me the envelope full of cardboard 
I forgot to tell him I was on turn. Well, I told him months ago and he forgot. And he wanted to see murder by death. And he happened to tune in and he was with his friends and he goes, by God, I know this man. <laughs> and then I said, and the man who sent me that cardboard and said in my script was Nick Meglin. And he said, I was so popular in the room. They were going, you know him? You know him? And now he said your name? He said your name. Hey, yeah. Isn't that awesome? That is yeah. just great. What a great fun. story that is. Yeah. It was super fun. Spinal Tap, Murder by Death. Uh, Love and Death. The Woody Allen movie. Is Woody that the Woody Allen, Allen one? Yeah. Exactly. Well, that is a very funny movie. Oh, I love Love and Death. Very funny. Yeah. And uh, Support Your Local Sheriff. Uh, oh, that's also very funny. James Garner. Yeah. James Garner. Yeah. James so it was great. And, I, you know, the, the great thing is hearing from, I heard from someone who are, I worked with 30 years ago on the match game. You know, people oh, who sure. don't know I'm on and they tune in and they go, oh, you know, let me Google him. Let me find out where he is now. It's, it's great. It's, it was television great. is surprising in its power. Yes. And, you know, we, I mean, we do kind of internet television, but until you do... Even, I mean, uh, Turner Classic Movies is a great network, but it's probably not a, one of the biggest cable no, networks. No, not at all, not means. at all. Yeah. But, but the minute you do something like that or live with Kelly or whatever, then yes. you realize the power of television. It's amazing yeah. medium. I mean, really, uh, you yeah, you reach people you would never think of. No. Yeah. No. It was great. It was great. Well, good. I'm glad you got to do it. Now, do they rerun that? No, it's it's come and gone. Uh, that's bizarre. So you mean it's one time only? One time only. Yeah. Now yeah. somebody's oh, put it's like this show. We we don't repeat these, do we? <laughs> oh boy, do we repeat these <laughs> over and over. I mean, See, you know, we're, gotta... we're, uh, yeah. we don't they've... repeat them more than like once an hour, though, right? They've got a different model than we do. <laughs> now somebody has put some of this stuff up on the YouTube. Somebody put all of them up on YouTube. Woody Allen acted in together, and he's gone on to direct her. Boy, Robert Osborne has a voice. Back with me to talk yes, about Love and indeed. Death and the movie spoofs is Mad Magazine writer Dick DiBartolo. Now, do you have a favorite moment in this film, oh, favorite lines? Uh, one of my favorite is in the jail when uh -huh. it's, a, it's a dreadful, damp, dank jail. And he said, but it's a French jail, <laughs> and the food is good, and they roll out a cart <laughs> with all these great pastries and, 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 and meals. That was very funny. Uh -huh. That was very funny. Have you ever met Woody Allen? You know what? I, I did meet him once. <clears throat> Several years ago, he was working on a movie, and they needed a houseboat. And at the time, I had a houseboat uh, right here in the city at the 79th Street Boat Basin. Uh -huh. And the staff got it down to two boats, and then they called me up and said, uh, Woody's going to come down tomorrow to make the final decision. Can you be there? And I said, can I be there? Hell what, are yeah. you kidding? Uh, so he came down, and I showed him the boat, and he said, well, I like this shot here. And I said, uh, Woody, there's an office in the back. So I went back there, and he said, you know, this shot is not as good. And uh, he ended up picking my neighbor's boat. Uh -huh. said, oh. It was great fun, at least. I had Woody Allen on my boat. Yeah, that's exactly. really. This yeah, Robert yeah, Osborne feels very relaxing. I like watching he, him. He's you very know what? He, soothing. He is, and uh, you know, he did a, a, a an interview with uh, Kim Novak, and she had like not been seen in public like in I fifteen love, to twenty loved years. Kim yes. Novak. And I was talking to one of the people at TCM, and they said it was just because she would be with Robert Osborne that she said she would do wow. it because he just makes people feel comfortable. Uh, uh, comfortable, exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Not unlike yourself. Wow. Now, he's an, he, he looks great, but he's an older man now, isn't he? I mean, well, he's uh, 80 or 81 wow. now. He looks yeah. fabulous. He looks great. Yeah. He looks great. And yeah, you're right. He has a great voice. I love it. Well, that must have been fun. I'm, I'm it only saying it is on YouTube for however long they, they leave exactly, it Exactly, until they see it. Yeah, uh, they sent me a copy with like a document. This is for your own purpose. You may never. But you they don't rerun it. it. It seems yeah. like, gosh, you know, let's see the rest of this. I, yeah, I know. I it's know. a shame to lose it. Right. All yeah. right, well, uh, we should get to work. I mean, we're not here Let's just to sit around and reminisce. We're here to give you gadgets. Dick is the, as according to Robert Osborne, a gadget fanatic. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. Uh, so there was an event in New York City uh, this past week, the Pet News Now Press Expo. Wait, it's called with Pet News Now? Now. Pet News Now. Okay. And they had a little press event with new... Uh, pet gadgets, mm. and so I have um, I have three gadgets from the uh, Pet News Now event, and the first one it has a bizarre name called the Shouse. 
as soon as I got to the place, I said, where is the shouts? And the woman said, okay, go into the second room. And there's a guy there <laughs> demonstrating it. And this is what the shouse is. The shouse. The shouse. Dick DiBartolo, Mads, Maddest Writer, and the Gizwiz here on One Take Theater on Twit. We're doing a new gadget here called the shouse. What in the world is that? Well, first of all, I'll tell you where we are. We're at Pet News Now, and we're looking at new pet gadgets. And this is one of the newest. So this is the little doggy house, beautiful doggy house. Oh, that's This is nice. real wood exterior. I need that for And Aussie. little hound dog is looking out. But you yeah. know what? I see his feet are very dirty. So Ronan is going to show me what we can do now. He's lifting the cover, <laughs> too, and it's locked. Oh, there it goes. The cover is up. And it turns out that it's a shouse because it's a dog house and a shower. So what? show us how this goes. No. Yeah, so, so it takes so, two so books so of your water dog is, to well, wash a dog. You. First book, and just pour it in. Oh, yeah, that'll go well. So the theory is that so his you dog is comfortable in his dog house. So he doesn't so mind if you shower. fill it with warm water. And turn it on. Yeah, exactly. And then the run a little... Circuit its rent. Great, and then uh, oh, once he's in. washed, yeah. do you, what do you do? You drain it? You can dra There's a quick drain on the back, so if the doggy chest is outside, you can just pull down the quick drain, or you can use the pump to pump it back out into the... Gosh, uh, in the first from place. Ireland. And then you put another bucket of water in to clean them off? Yeah, to rinse them off, to put another bucket of water in. So, Amazing. So, so that's the dog That shouse. dog seems very comfortable and in there. this is available now? <laughs> yes, yeah, he did. He, did. Yeah, he, looks, he looks amazing. And www.doggyshares.com. And the price is? Four ninety nine. I think I need that for Ozzy. I don't know about the shower part. And I'll just say nice thing. And then they have a lot of different models. www.doggyshouse.com. Or Doggy's House. I'm very grimy. I'm getting in with the hound dog. I don't care if he complains or not. But this is really a fun gadget. So we're going to look around and find something else. Now, where was he from? Uh, he's from uh, Ireland. I don't know what. Oh, uh, uh, that was an Irish he, accent he had. An, yeah, it was. Wow. Yes, it was. Do they so have a littler model? Because I think Ozzy's too too small. No, for Leo. That. I think to start, they just have the one. The big so one. that it, it, yeah, because you know a lot of money goes into developing. Oh, and that you could stuff. close the door, and it really does become a tub. Oh, it's, it's an actual doghouse. Yeah, it yeah. locks down, and the front door falls open, and and is a ramp. So oh, that, the door's a ramp. Yeah, so... I've been wanting well, to get a dog house for Ozzy. And you know, it's funny, you know this, because uh, you're a dog lover. Dogs, believe it or not, like being in these enclosed spaces. Yes. Uh, it reassures them, I think. Exactly, exactly. Uh, Dennis's new little puppy loves... Uh, as soon as the puppy came home, Dennis has a big basket with all his blankets in it. The dog came home, looked around, went... Right. <laughs> jumped in the basket, and that has become his house. Yeah. Yeah. He just likes to have a place to go. I like the idea that it only uses one bucket of water. Yeah, one bucket to clean them, and then to use it. Uh, How do you a drain it? Bucket to, to wash it up. Uh, you can put the bucket there and use the built in pump to put the dirty water back in the bucket and throw right. it out. Or it has or a drain. It, exactly. If it's okay. out in the backyard, just open the drain and let it drain out. Yeah. Wow. Does it come from Ireland? Like if I order it now? Will I get it? You know, in the he spring? told me that it, it, he told me that they already have drop shipped the buns here I in the U.S. This. I love so You know what? I would consider that. That's nice. Okay. Yeah. Good. Good. What? A, although washing Ozzy is as easy as putting him under your arm and getting in the uh, shower. Uh, <laughs> it's not. It's really not hard. And, and then the hand dryer in the bathroom. Oh, yeah, I, you yeah, your yeah. joke, but exactly. <laughs> oh, I go, okay. and he loves the warm air. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, and okay. his well, I, have goes, something, I, I have something for that in a minute, too. Oh, really? Uh, oh, good. Yeah, yeah, okay. okay. Well, uh, wait a minute. Before you do more, I want to take a little break. Oh, okay. But more stuff from the the Pet News Now Expo. They say yep. it's Petrepreneurs there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Didn't you know that? No. You, you probably didn't know where they hung out. I right? didn't know where the Petrepreneurs were, but now I know. Yeah. They are, yeah. I actually would go to that, having some interest in pets, as you do. Uh, our show today brought to you, I, I also have some interest, a real interest, a lasting, abiding interest in smartphones. And it's brought to you by a company that wants to change your experience of mobile phones. They're trying to create a no BS mobile phone service 
They are uh, ting.com. You've heard us talk about ting.com. In fact, you go to gizwiz.ting.com. Ting. Uh, you can find out more about it. They resell Sprint service. So it's a, what they call an MVNO. But don't think Sprint when you think Ting. That's just the backbone. Ting has done everything completely different. For instance, there's no contract. There's no early termination fee. In fact, they've even created, for those of you stuck with a phone company that does have ETFs, the new ETF relief program. If you're paying an early termination fee to come to Ting, they've got your back. They're going to give you a credit for up to 25% of your ETF, up to $75 per device. Just purchase your device through Ting, port your number, submit your final bill with that ETF information. And Ting will pay you back. Ting.com slash ETF. Just one more reason to visit Ting. There's no bundling, no ride-along services. You choose the service level you want. Voice minutes, text messages, and megabytes of data all billed separately. You only pay for what you use. You never pay for more than you use. And everything that you want is free, like voicemail, caller ID, even tethering. Hotspotting is free. It's part of the deal. Three-way calling, call forwarding, no add-on char add charges, no mysterious line items. You can get unlimited devices on a single plan, so it's great for families or small businesses. The way it works is each device on the plan costs $6 a month. Then you add the shared pool of minutes and data and so forth, but you only pay for what you use. Now, they do have a uh, savings calculator, so you can go there and uh, try it out, compare your current rates. I think you should do that. Uh, but I can give you, you know, just kind of an example. Remember, you're going to pay after the fact. But the example, let's say I want, now, uh, let's say it's a family of four. So we're going to get four phones, right? And, uh, we, you know, a thousand minutes actually nowadays with the kids, they don't do a lot of phoning. So I think a thousand minutes is enough. It doesn't really matter because this is just an example. Uh, let's say we all text a lot, 2,000 messages in that month. And, of course, I'm going to go for the full three gigs. The total cost for the family of four on that would be $110. But, of course, you only pay for what you use. It could be a lot less than that. $110, eat, not each, total. Their support Amazing. is fabulous. I mean, this is such a great deal. Um, in fact, that's what I pay on, on one phone, let alone four. <laughs> Call 855-TING-FDW anytime during business hours. A real person empowered to help will pick up the phone. They've got great customer forums, help ticketing system, lots of tutorials, even video tutorials and startup guides and more. I want you to go to Ting. What's, here's how it works. When you purchase your mobile phone, and they have a variety of new phones and used phones you can buy, and you can also bring your own Sprint device to Ting in many cases. Uh, within two to five business days, you'll get your phone. You activate it with Ting. You can select a new phone number or port the existing phone number. And you get billed at the end of the month for only what you've used. No early termination fee. It's month to month. You pay for what you use, not a penny more. I, I can't think of a better way to do this. That's why I suggest you visit gizwiz.ting.com and we'll take 25 bucks off your first Ting device. And don't forget that ETF relief program. Ting! It's the next best Ting. <laughs> Somebody said, <laughs> ba-da-ding. It's gizwiz.ting.com. And uh, really, you owe it to yourself at least to do the savings calculator to find out what you'd save. We thank them for the support of the Gizwiz show. We return now to the Gizwiz already in progress. Dick T, our second gadget. Our second gadget, second pet gadget is, I don't know if you had this problem uh, with bags of dog food. Well, Ozzy's little, but... No, I do. Big. So I buy him Evo, E-V-O dog food. Chat room recommended it. No grain. It's nice, high protein. Uh, and it comes in kind of aluminum bags, but I open them and it's a big bag. It goes for months. Yes. And I yes. don't. I, I'm afraid it's getting stale. Exactly. So this is great for that. It's called the Camel bag clip and what is good about it is it clips on there have been bag closures that will hold the top of the bag closed yeah I've had, this, i have those for potato chips yeah this has a giant handle on it and can seal bags up to 40 pounds Ooh. and so oh look at that 
look the bag and then carry it. And then if you put the the uh, uh, camel clip on the corner of the bag, you can use it to pour yes. out dog food. That is so not, now is, that's for the big dog bags, the 20 exactly, pounders or whatever. Exactly. But yeah. you know what, Leo? It's very hard to buy small bags because, like, when you go to Petco, the small bag is like $16. I know. Then twice as much, $23. I know. Three times. Right. Know. So I end up buying Fairway, I think it's 38-pound bags of Science Diet. Holy cow. Uh, which last, you know, with Fairway That's and Maggie. That's a year's would, supply. <laughs> well, well, between Fairway and when Maggie was still around, uh, they could go two or three months. Um, but so this is a great way to seal a big bag, carry a big bag, and it, it's good for kitty litter, charcoal, big bags. Of oh, I do do that for, for my big green egg. I have giant bags of charcoal. Yeah, there you yeah. go. There you go. A well, rock salt in the winter, people carrying mm -hmm. big bags of rock salt. Uh, fourteen ninety five and eight ninety five shipping and handling. Now let me uh, ask you a question because yes. Lisa and I have a little dialogue on this. Oh, you guys are talking again after the vacation. <laughs> after the vacation, okay. we're talking. No, okay. uh, she throws out the dog food. Every morning she throws out the, the old dog food and starts with a new fresh. It's just dry food. Yeah. Oh. I don't, do I think, how, does Ozzy care? No. Do you give him, do you give Fairway fresh dog food every morning? Well, I. Uh, you give I, him, you put more in there for her. Yeah. But you yeah. don't throw out the old. No. Chat room, what do you do? Is is does a dog will a dog care about stale dog food? I think it's already dry. Oh let oh, oh boy, the chat room's coming back loud wow, and clear wow. here. Wow. Fresh is best. Fresh is better. A little bit. Well no weird Amy says the dogs don't care. I don't think dogs says, know. Web, web says you can leave it for a week. I'm glad I'm not his pet. But, you know, Ozzy goes through it, but he doesn't... He, I want him to eat on uh, on demand as opposed to when I schedule it. So I, I leave, you know, a cup or two in there. And when it's gone, I'll put another cup or two in there. Yeah, I, I, I think that that's okay. Well, Lisa says no. We okay. must... He eats it all if give him a little scoop. We, it, we, we throw it out every morning and it's fresh. You got a lot of stray dogs hanging around <laughs> your garbage can? Let's hope I, Ozzy didn't I, eat it all. The truth is, I don't think dog food's so expensive that I... That I'm really, it's a bad thing to throw out a quarter of an ounce, but right. she just gives him a little scoop, little tiny, because he's a little baby dog. So oh, yeah, that's right. right. And Burke says his his method is to hand feed Ozzy one pellet at a time. <laughs> oh, that's good. Every meal takes two hours. Here comes the airplane. Yeah. Here but comes that, open. That, yeah, yeah. But that's because he does it on company time. Yeah, it, that's actually his full time job is to feed Ozzy. So uh, uh, seven hours feeding Ozzy, one hour. I'm just whatever. Thinking, whatever it is that the, the dog the eats, whatever's out. I don't. You know, it's like any. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Lisa's a cat person. She doesn't understand dogs. Excuse me? Dogs. Who figured out something was wrong with dogs? Oh, no, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> oh, you're in trouble now, pal. You're in trouble now. <laughs> you're in trouble now. <laughs> no, it's whatever Lisa wants to do is fine with me. Yeah, there you go. There's the answer that we were waiting for. She's to right. Yes, dear. Yeah. Yes, dear. That's it. How about... Gadget number three. Will Gadget this help number, us? Gadget number three. Can will this marriage help you? be saved? Drying Ozzy. And we're going to go back to pet news and this video of another gadget. It's made us try to end the Gizwiz with another one take theater here on Twit. Still at the pet show. This is pretty neat. This is the Atira Auto Pet Dryer. Now, what's amazing about this, remember we did a, sh uh, we did a shoot at the dog show and we had to leave the room because the noise made by the hair dryers they were using on the dogs was so loud that we couldn't record anything i'm standing right here next to this unit and one of the main features of this unit running right is now. how oh. amazingly quiet it is no. and instead I of having you were to stand like feet there away. and do this with the hair dryer Look over your that. head no, i'm standing right next you, with you the mic next to oh we need this 
for it Ozzy. It's a very big area. First of all, it has a very wide <laughs> nozzle. And second of all, it moves up and down. There's a timer here. And actually, you can use cool air to dry your dog. I didn't know that, but I just learned that some dogs don't like warm air. Uh, this is $190. It's out now. Etera.com is where you can find it. Is that right? I'm looking over at the inventor. And it's pretty nifty. So now, while you watch that, I'm going to dry what little bit is left of <laughs> you my You don't need hair. it. <laughs> to yeah, maybe for the mustache. Try to end as, the as, as, as with, someone, with another one take an theater email and said, here on Twit. You could dry that hair in point oh, 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 two <laughs> seconds. <laughs> Ozzy, you know, and I, does Fairway, does she like uh, having the blow dryer pointed no, at her? she's not crazy about it. Ozzy, they for some like reason, likes it. Yeah. Oh, it's Ozzie the noise. It? it might be the noise. You know, because Ozzy, if you, I'm sure this is true. Well, you don't have a car, but if you had a car, Fairway would probably do what Ozzy does. He sticks his little head out the window when we're driving, and his ears go. He loves that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. And he likes being dried with it with a hair dryer. Or uh, you just yes. drive him around when he's wet. He loves it. I think he likes it because it's warm. It's very cozy. Okay. He's yeah. a strange dog. <laughs> very strange I wonder dog. why. Uh, hmm. I think it must be his food. Do you give him fresh food every day? <laughs> you don't. It could really screw with a dog's mind. <laughs> um, how long does dry dog food stay fresh, we asked the dog food advisor. Oh, and? With proper storage, dry food can be safely used until it reaches its best by date. But the freshness of any dry dog food is unstable and gradually deteriorates over time. So make sure to change the bowl every single morning. Oh, okay. Is that, that from last a pet, to patch yeah, up things say, with Lisa. Is that from a pet pool, <laughs> a, a pet food manufacturer? Yeah, no, right. No, yeah. this is the dogfoodadvisor.com. Oh, okay. Usually right on, on the bag it says, uh, your dog is 10 pounds or under, just nine cups a day. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually good. Uh, what's a good food, high protein for dogs, blah, blah, blah. This is good. Okay. They don't mention anything about... totally unbiased? Yeah, well, and they don't say, you know... Okay. By the way, Fine. don't feed your dog table food. We did that, and it was, it was too fatty for Ozzy. Oh, interesting. Yeah, he belched... <laughs> Wow. Wow. <laughs> no, he developed something called pancreatitis. And now... Pancreatitis? Pancreatitis. Oh, pancreatitis. We have to give him a little Pepsid AC before every meal. Really? That doesn't seem like the right advice. But no, that's what it the, doesn't. <laughs> that's what the vet said. <laughs> no. And then he said, give him little rice balls and boiled chicken. Oh, that that is a given. For when a dog has diarrhea, yeah. it, it's well, he rising. just is a, is an upset yeah. little upset tummy. Yeah, yeah. Or pet tobismol. Pet. Now, did they have that at the Petropreneur Expo? No. There, that would have been good. No, but we could market that. Pet you know, bismol Yeah, just take the regular stuff and put it in little bottles and charge ten dollars. <laughs> Twice as much. Put, put the word pet because it's it. for your doggy. Exactly. All right, we're going to take a break. When we come back, I am going to open this giant box. Yes, I am so excited about something from overseas. From Turkey, where where the Turkey. east where the mm -hmm. east begins. Mm -hmm. You know the Turkey. Uh, Istanbul, yeah. it, on one side is in Europe, and then you cross the Bosphorus, and then you're in Asia. It's the border between, wow. it's literally east meets west. It's the border between Europe and Asia. Huh. <laughs> so we, sa we, 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 we sailed over to Asia. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> A quick oh, ride day. Right. Let's go to Asia tonight for dinner. They, they have Chinese. So uh, our show, <laughs> our show today, <laughs> brought to you by Linda.com. Oh, I love Linda. I've known Linda Wyman. Linda.com is Linda L Y N D A for many years. She used to be on the Screensavers. Uh, she was a, a great, always was a great teacher and instructor, starting with web design. Now Linda.com has become a full service online learning company with over two thousand high-quality video courses. Uh, and the beauty of it is it's all one price, one low monthly price. You can watch any of the videos anytime with a lynda.com subscription. Let me tell you, the variety is amazing. Everything from learning business software like Excel 
or Microsoft Word, QuickBooks, PowerPoint, to business skills like resume creation or time management, how to negotiate, but also great for your hobbies. I, For instance, before we left for uh, our trip, I wanted to update on the new Lightroom, Lightroom 5. They have great courses. And of course, it's taught, this is the great thing, it's taught by many of the people you've seen on Twitter. Bert Monroy teaches Photoshop courses. Derek Story, Ben Long, some of my favorite people. So I know you're getting great stuff. They also teach programming, app development, web development, even Raspberry Pi courses suitable for all ages, which is great if you and the kids are doing a little Raspberry Pi project. You can improve your skills, learn new software, keep up with technology. There are new courses every week. In fact, this week they added Practicing Photographer, Increasing Your Creativity at Work, Code Efficiently, the instructors are all professionals at the top of their fields, great teachers, but also they really work in this area. And the video production is very, very high quality. It's not, we're not talking about homemade YouTube videos here. Because it's curated course content, each course is very carefully structured. You, you learn from start to finish, but you can also go directly to a specific chapter to find quick answers. And that's nice because they have a text... Trans oh, Douglas Kirkland's great. This is great. They have text transcriptions, so you can literally search the text transcriptions and find the thing you wanted to learn and go right to that port part of the uh, video. Courses for all levels, all technical skills, creative techniques, business strategies, and more. If you're looking to find new inspiration, new ideas, lynda.com has a new series. I want to do this one. We should do this together, Creative Inspirations. Doesn't this sound like fun? They're documentaries that follow companies and creative individuals who are leaders, entrepreneurs, inventors, experts, pioneers in their field. Creative inspirations. Bert Monroy, by the way, is the subject of uh, one of these, as, along with uh, Mexopolis Animation Studio. Of course, as always, you can watch your on your computer, your tablet, your mobile device. If you've got AirPlay, you can watch it on your big screen TV, too. Whether you've got 15 minutes or 15 hours, you'll learn at your own pace, on your own schedule. I want you to try lynda.com absolutely free right now. A seven-day trial of every single video available to you. Eat all you can in seven days free if you visit lynda, L-Y-N-D-A dot com slash gizwiz. Normally $25 a month for Linda's entire course library. They also have a premium plan, $37.50 a month, and then you get all the exercise files so you can follow along with the instructor. I really like Linda.com. Linda, L-Y-N-D-A dot com slash gizwiz. We've known her for years. I know her instructors. I can vouch for it. It's the best online instruction out there. And when you think of what a college course would cost, $25 a month is an amazing deal. Free for the first week. Linda.com slash gizwiz. So, this isn't a gadget, yes. really. But I it's thought it would be kind gadget? of fun to open this up. Okay. Uh, you know, well, if it's, way, it, uh, if it's a way, gadget, Leo, it's a gadget from the good old days of gadgeteering. Before there were power, uh, electricity. Oh, my gosh. Oh, gosh, I hope this is what I think it is. <laughs> yeah, it says fragile. Oh. It must be from Italy. Oh! All right, let's put it up here. Holy cow. So, so um... We didn't do a whole lot of shopping, Dick. You know, sometimes when people travel, it's all about the shopping. Yeah. Not, not for us. Is this coffee related? No. No. <laughs> Although no. Lin uh, Linda, Lin Lisa gave me, <laughs> I don't know who Linda is, honey, honest. Lisa gave me <laughs> a Turkish coffee set she, she picked up while I wasn't paying attention. So that's oh. kind of, that was nice of her. Because yeah. I love, have you had Turkish coffee? I have. Oh, it's I so have. good. It's so dark and rich. And yeah. Potent. You stand your spoon in it. <laughs> Actually, you can melt your spoon in it. Yeah. <laughs> you can literally. Okay. All right, Whoa, ladies and gentlemen. Boy. Oh, we're going to do the overhead cam. <laughs> well, not now because it's too high, but let me. Uh, so, oh. um, we, you know, it's we were in the bazaar, right, in Turkey. Yeah. And... Um, Actually, we got off the boat to buy uh, some jewelry for Lisa. We wanted to go to the silver store. But I got a little sidetracked. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this out down here. Ah. Whoa, they pulled us into the store. They gave us a cup of tea. And 45 minutes later, I'm the owner of this. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I'm very happy. Um, it looks like I'm going to have to do some assembly required. I was just going to say, <laughs> yeah. did you know it was coming in parts? <laughs> Well, you know, they shipped it very carefully, which is nice. Let me show you this part, and the rest of it will become uh, obvious. Okay. Um, you know, th those almost look like chair legs, but I assume they're, they're table. Not. They are table legs. It's a they are table I'll legs. I'll tell you okay. what it is. It's a chess table, and it's uh, beautifully made by hand 
by uh, uh, Kurdish uh, artisans in the small villages here. It's inlaid uh, gold and ivory and ebony. And the, the, I'm just excited about this because I really fell in love with it when I saw it. Yeah. And I thought I'd show it to you. I don't know what part of it this is. Is this the chest set or... This must be part of the table. But you'll be able to see the, the, the handwork here. Oh. It's just really beautiful. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, you know, when I was out there, I got one of those at the Dollar Store. <laughs> Don't tell me that. This was no. uh, But it's just, I mean, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. All the hand, the detailed hand inlay. It looks as good as it did when I bought it, so that's good news. So and you can use it as a table, but then it opens up? It's a up. table, and then it opens up, and it's a chess set. Wow. Uh, wow. This, it was made by wow. a, a single guy, a single Kurdish workman, who took over two years to make this. And uh, so you know, it costs like five dollars, yeah, right? It was a little. After. It wasn't hugely expensive. I'm, I I talked him down. <laughs> okay. Right. <laughs> this is well. Okay. So this is this is backgammon. The other side is chess. So wow. we can play backgammon wow. as well. Yeah, isn't that beautiful? Now the the pieces are just silly little, you know. I think they're. Uh, the, I think it's the Sultan in his court, as I remember. But look at this. This is so. This is a back. We'll have to get some backgammon pieces. But uh, isn't that beautiful? Yeah. So I'm very happy this came and seems like it came intact. Nice. Yeah. So I assume this company doesn't have a website. No. 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 <laughs> yeah. And we're giving this to the video of the day. No. Yeah. Oh, we are. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> fine. Fine. You can see when you were, uh, look at it. Just what what fine work is, is yeah. done. This is really quite amazing. So I'm very excited, very happy. Um, anyway, I, that's not a gadget, I know. No, no, we, it's great. We do have a gadget that we will show you for your uh, birthday on Saturday. Jeff Needles is watching saying, where's that gadget I got Dick for his birthday? Oh, well, how <laughs> did you guys even remember that? Oh, Amazing. we know, we know. Amazing. Yeah. Okay. Oh, God, wow, that's beautiful. very, very cool. Can you see the detail on it? I mean, yeah, it's, yes. Yeah, yes. this is the chessboard which goes on top of it. Nice, yeah, Made really, it. really cool. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm happy. I wanted yeah. to get something that would just be a memory of Turkey. And you, you don't know so any of those of girls, right in the picture. Uh yeah, that's the Sultan's harem. Oh, Doctor Mom said went to the harem. She said it's just like a stable. <laughs> I see. <laughs> there's the there's the chessboard. Wow, yeah. that's Isn't very that nice. Yeah, it's a little busy for playing a game, but <laughs> it'll be fun to look at. Hey, your eyes adjust to... to it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I think I'm being hypnotized. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. As you as you zoom in and out, the boxes being <laughs> they move around. You know, this yeah. is odd though, where it says "Made in China" here. I didn't see that. Uh... Yeah. Yeah. I saw that. Yeah. I, saw that. I don't no, want to say anything. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I oh, hope I'm kidding. Okay. I suddenly have the desire to buy one of those. <laughs> Isn't that kind of hypnotic? One of the yes, things about uh, 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 <laughs> art in the Middle East is, is very um, psychedelic almost. It is. Because they, they don't do uh, figures generally of humans, at least not in the Muslim uh, nations. They do uh, patterns instead in the mosques and everything. It's very beautiful. Nice. All right. It did come with chess pieces. They're somewhere in here. <laughs> I'll find them later. All right, Dick. So that concludes this portion of the Gizwiz. I think this will be a good time. Are you afraid I'm going to drop it or something? She's Lisa's going. <laughs> yes. I'm not. I'm not going to drop it. But you know, what I would like to do right now. I'd like to take a walk down Broadway, the beautiful, the Great White Way, down the city of Manhattan, the the heartbeat of the city, the spinal cord of the city, the route that traverses from one end to the other, the Isle of Manhattan, and right there, about halfway down. You'll see a giant stone edifice, mossy, dripping. It actually it turns out it's not a Scottish castle. It's not City Hall. It's Dick's Gadget Where? They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. 
when gadgets pass away. Ha -ha! He takes them out to play. Ha -ha! In this gadget warehouse. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's go to the gadget warehouse where Dickie D has yet another fabulous gadget for us. Actually, Dickie D has another fabulous viewer's video. Now, this is kind of interesting because the gentleman first tells his favorite gadget and then explains a 70-year-old gadget that his father still owns. Wow. So it's from Mike, and Mike, here is your Gadget Warehouse hey, video. Hey, Leo, Dickie D. My name is Mike. I'm calling you from Atlanta, Georgia. We talk about our favorite gadgets. I was sitting down with my elderly father a couple of weeks ago. He served in World War II. He's in his late 80s. Wow. We were reminiscing about our favorite gadgets, and we got to talking a little bit and realized you know, my favorite gadget, I guess, is my cell phone. I can take pictures, I can take video, I can talk to people, I can uh, research just about any topic, and I can play games. I mean, it's a total entertainment system. That, I guess, would be my favorite gadget. However, when I talked to my dad, I said, I know you've been around a long time, you've been through many things in your life, but I said, what do you remember as your favorite gadget? And surprisingly, he said, during World War II, he remembered one gadget that he had that was his favorite. And remember, this is, I don't know, 70 years ago that he carried this, and surprisingly, he still had it. This was my father's favorite gadget. What is this? This survived. World I couldn't II, guess it. All over Europe, North Africa, Italy. He was in all the major campaigns during World War II. And as you can imagine, the soldiers during World War II didn't have any entertainment. Uh, my dad said occasionally they'd get uh, old letters, uh, newspapers, things like that to read, but as far as entertainment, they were pretty much on their own. However, my dad said that at one point, the Army came out with this particular item. As you can tell, it has the Army emblem on the front of it. This is kind of canvas, uh, very thin canvas, and it's framed in wood. He carried this because he was a paratrooper in one of his large pockets, uh, breast pockets of his uniform. And he said Jeez, at night, uh, when they'd sit around uh, after a hard day, they would obviously be looking for something to fancy. do. Just... And they would break out a miniature poker set. And this is the smallest. I think everybody's seen poker sets before, but this is absolutely the smallest poker set wow, I've ever that's seen. That's awesome. It Isn't that amazing? The government look at it. it. And of course, they're very patriotic. They're red, white, and blue. I love that. Get one of these. You can see how small they are. They're pretty dinky, 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 dinky. That thing is uh, <laughs> half the size of a dime. <laughs> anyway, they have two rows of poker chips, red, white, and blue. But again, very patriotic. This is made by a company apparently back in the 40s called Duratone. And on the back of huh. one of their cards, they have their name, description of the company here a little bit. The uh, now producing one good stuff thing overseas. about it is it does have the good housekeeping seal of approval no. at the bottom. And hysterical. of course, it does have a little <laughs> saying about please buy war bonds. Uh, all the cards obviously are the same. Again, patriotic, red, white, and blue. And this one looks like they have a couple of battling tanks on it. But this is a very small little poker set, and uh, again, it's got a wooden frame, canvas, uh, has the army emblem on the front, and my dad said this was his favorite gadget of all times, and he carried it all through World War II. I thought maybe you guys would enjoy seeing something that I've never seen another one like it, but my dad, throughout his life, was able to keep this, and he passed it on to me. Anyway, thought you'd enjoy that. Thanks. Hope you have a good day. That was awesome. That is yeah. so cool. Who Thank knew they did you. that? That is amazing. That is really they neat. Give out those, I think the government gives out the sets that you have there. Every soldier gets one of those. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> can carry it on his back. Yeah, And exactly. uh, you never know when he need it. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so thanks, Mike. Mike, what a great thing! Yeah, some crap. And if you want to send in your video, you can do like Mike did. You can send in uh, my favorite gadget, my father's favorite gadget. I bought a piece of crap. I invented this. My favorite gadget of all time. Just make a little two to three minute video. Post it on YouTube. 
and then send the link to our esteemed, well, I don't know how esteemed, uh, just the guy who sits here in the open <laughs> <Jason>. <laughs> He's uh, de esteemed. definitely no He's esteem here. Esteemed. No, Are no you esteem. Kidding? Yeah, yeah, I esteem him. Twit.tv, we'd love to have your video um, and show it here on the show. And if you we show it on the show, you get uh, a piece of crap. Not that chess set. Not my chess uh, set. No, maybe one of the table legs. We might do it that <laughs> way. We might, you don't need all four, right? <laughs> yeah, that's right. And then we'll start mailing out those little people. Uh, the chess <laughs> you know, I wanted to have the, uh, this is the Ottoman Empire, and I wanted to have the Crusaders on the other wow. side. But, uh, but I didn't get those. These are just kind of temporary pieces they're not the fanciest nicest pieces i've ever seen but uh this was just so it would you would know it was a chess set but yeah. boy i just love the board it's just beautiful inlaid board and a card kind of you do a card table or backgammon on you know if you if you want some south park uh plastic uh I chess very pieces much like those uh, i think it would go well with that and, that and by the table. way this is uh we've got a new outfit for interns and i just wanted to show everybody oh, that's, oh. Good. that's nice i think yeah. those will be great <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. So the interns in the front, the executives in the back. Exactly. It's very it's nice. It's a realistic game of chess. <laughs> yes. Only the executives get to carry the shield. Yeah, I get the turban. Right, exactly. Dick, it's time. Let's play a letters jingle and see what we've got in the mailbag. Gadgets. Here's Dick D. Bartolo. And our letter comes from Paul Watson. The subject is the Squatty Potty. <laughs> of course. Now, I was not here for the Squatty Potty. Oh, okay. I heard uh, about it later. I bet you did. <laughs> so Paul writes, while you and, oh my God, Chad, were poo-pooing, pun intended, the Squatty Potty, yes. I saw two distinct groups that this would be a benefit. One is people like me, almost elderly, but with knees that are almost shot and hips following. Yes. We can't get up and down on the current popular low-profile style toilets. In my house, we have a high-profile style marketed to folks like me. The Squatty Potty would allow us to have something to push against when we're in the loo. I tried the chatting tin maneuver, but was not happy with the results. It may have something to do with the alignment of the spine and God knows what else. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, second, missed, I missed that show for a reason. Yeah, I think you did. The second is young children whose feet don't reach the floor like my Yeah, that's what I thought this was. I didn't really understand that you're supposed to squat. Yeah, that that originally before toilets. That's oh, what you did. originally every toilet where we were tr in Turkey is a squatty potty. Oh, well, <laughs> originally okay. they, they still haven't figured that part out. Oh, All right, okay. so you stand okay. here. Oh, that's oh, there you disgusting. Go. They it. They, they, I'm... <laughs> right, right, yeah, I know. And, and, and Chad did a full demo. I did he really? <laughs> no. Well, yeah. I well, could have done without that yeah. image. No, yeah. He went out and had a big lunch just so he'd be ready. It was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I, it's a step I, stool. Come on. What is the... Well, it, it's supposed to align your It does tilt your feet up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Okay. Right. Uh, so anyway, he, he suggests that for the very young and the more, the older folks, Paul says there yeah. is a, a need or a use for the potty squat, uh, the no, squatty potty. Uh, I, had, I had used squat toilets before, but Lisa had not and was quite shocked. Actually, when she went into a public toilet, I think it was in Turkey, and uh, there was no was toilet, just a hole ship, in the ground. And I explained, that's a squat toilet. That's very common in, in much of the world still. Not in Petaluma. We have, we have transcended. We now have thrones. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, thanks, Chad. <laughs> He's taking his body back and oh, he's sorry. He was in he was in the middle of something. I'm I'm sorry. Oh wow, yeah. Okay. 
<laughs> anyway. Well, I guess we could so, send a camera crew into there and no, uh, yes, give him a taste of his own did. medicine. Did you not? No, that's what I mean. He was on the other side of it, oh, though. Although he was talking. So this to, time, talking, the tables right, are turned. Right. We, we fortunately just heard the reaction uh, yes. through the closed the door. <laughs> Well, my friend, it has been a wonderful episode. I thank you for putting up with my silly gadget. No, 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 no problem at all. No problem yeah. at all. But next and, time you're uh, in you know, town, we'll is... play a little uh, play a little chess. What oh, do you yeah, say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that beautiful? I also want to mention for the last time, if you want to come to the Gizwiz Meetup, it's this Sunday, October 20th, and it's at the Boat Basin Cafe, uh, fun place overlooking the marina. And uh, we're going to play games like we do on GizFizz, except you can win prizes. Yeah, baby. When we're in person. No chess set, but I, have, I do have some fun stuff to give away, including a lot of Mad Magazine. So if you go to gizfizz.biz and click on Log and Blog, and all the details are there. And there's something else you can do, Leah. What, what else, else is do? that? What else what can else? you do, Dick D. Bartolo? Oh, I bet you could play the What the Heck Is It game. <laughs> <laughs> and let uh, me see yeah. the let me see what uh, what the picture is. It looks like where is the gadget? Oh, oh, there oh, we there go. It is. <laughs> <laughs> it's a d amazing disappearing gadget. It looks like a I don't know. I uh, think a prosthetic duck bill is the first thing that leaps to mind. Oh yeah, kind of fit in good with uh, the w the issue you win. Yeah, well, oh, yes, it's Duck Dynasty, isn't it? Duck Dynasty, yeah. yeah. Mm. Well, there you go, gizwiz.biz, and you have until uh, uh, the uh, Halloween at midnight. Halloween at midnight. It's kind of a scary exactly. time. <laughs> exactly. All right, Dickie D, a pleasure, uh, as always. Super t super fun, pal. Somebody's saying always. that's a picture of the young Dick D. Bartolo next to the ketchup bottle there on your shelf. What? <laughs> Oh, it is. Yes. <laughs> people have very sharp eyes. Zoom yeah, in on they, that. You know, people are just absolutely <laughs> amazing. Well, the ketchup bottle does kind of draw the eye. Yeah, yeah. The Gizwiz ketchup. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then right next to it, uh, the is that the usual cast of idiots there? No, that's your idiots. That's, that's your me. Christmas card. Oh, that's our Christmas <laughs> card. Yes. Oh, I do recognize That's an it. unusual cast of idiots. And there's the young yeah. Dickie D right there. <laughs> Different. Oh, Myra just covered it yeah. up. Um, yeah. Anyway. All right. Hey, thank you, Dick. Okay. As always, a real pleasure. We do this show every uh, Tuesday, uh, about 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern Time, 2100 UTC on twit.tv. Join us live, if you will. If not, on-demand audio and video will be made available at request. Wow, that was a young uh, that was a young me. Yes, yeah, yeah. Colleen and Dane and a whole bunch of people. Uh, you could just go get it at uh, twit.tv slash gizwiz or wherever podcasts are aggregated. Thank you, Dick. We'll see you next time. I'll be here.